All right, so I'm going to show you how to set up your domain name and mail gun together. This is for a client of mine, so I figured I'd show you guys how to do it. If you see that he has not verified his domain, he literally just needs to go into his email and uh, verify it by clicking a link. It's super, super easy. But uh, all we're going to do is click on this downward arrow if you're seeing verified contacts and go to manage. If you are verified, it says like okay or whatever it says right here then just uh it should have only manage there and all we're going to do is go to manage and when we do that you can see that it has domain it has product sharing and advanced dns so what we're going to do is go to advanced dns and as you should have already done in the previous lessons is set up your at and www and that should be the only ones listed he did have an MX record here, which um, we'll show you how to, uh, where that comes into play. But for now, let's just go ahead and go to um, the settings here. Uh, he did have cashflow.store, which is actually the wrong way to do it. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So all we're gonna do is go to domains. We're gonna copy that first one and add dom domain. And it's gonna be mg dot the actual domain. So if your domain is themoneyfriends.com, you're going to add a subdomain of mg.themoneyfriends.com. In this example, his domain is cashvault.store, but we need to add mg in front of it. So we're gonna go ahead and add that, and it's gonna be successful. And then all we're gonna to have to do is add all of these different uh, things here. So for an example, we need to set the text. So we go back to the DNS, we type in text, so we look for text right here. We type in MG, and then we grab that value. So that value was uh, right here. And we're going to go ahead and push that here. And I like to change this to one minute. And I don't like to uh, accidentally uh, delete it. So let's just put that in really quickly right there. And one minute, and then make sure that we don't fat finger it. And as you can see, now we have MG, and then the value here in one minute. So next we're gonna add another text record and it's going to be all of this. So it's gonna be k1 dot underscore domain key dot mg. We're gonna go ahead and copy that. We're gonna go ahead and paste that. And then we're going to add this, this little value right here. So we'll copy that, paste it in the value, change that to one minute and good to go there so make sure that you do copy all of the everything up to mg because that is the subdomain and that's what it's supposed to be so that you're all set up from here we need to add that mx record so as you can see here we're going to copy again mg uh, and change this one to mg change this to one minute and 10 priority so as you can see here we're actually copying this one. This is the B version. So it's MG, just this part, 10 priority. And then the value is this whole thing right here, which is already in there and one minute. So we'll just go ahead and click okay on that one. And we're gonna do the same thing with the first one. It doesn't matter what order you put it in. He just happened to put the first one and I couldn't delete the, the, the first one. So we're gonna do that, but it's MG and then we're gonna copy mxa.mailgun.org add the same thing to here. So this is going to be MG. This is going to be mail mxa.mailgun and priority. And we have 10. And we're going to change that to one minute. Last thing we have to do is the C name. The C name is email.mg. We're going to go ahead and go to C name at the top here. So C name right here. We're going to add MG. It's actually it's uh, email.mg and we're going to copy this value right here which is mailgun.org we're going to paste that bad boy in there and then one minute and as you can see we've saved all that we'll go ahead and click verify and it might take a minute it might take five minutes i don't know how long it usually takes um it just depends on how long uh that the facebook or the the dns records come in it looks like we are missing something here so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and replace this text again. So the text was this one. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there and click done. And then it looks like the C name isn't coming up 
So uh, that's pretty much the only thing that was it. It's probably just a delay. So as you can see, everything is good now. We have check marks all around. Uh, that's looking good, that's looking good, that's looking good, that's looking good, and that is looking good. So now our mail gun is done. So all we have to do is go now to our uh, to our SMTP service. Uh, if you actually, if it doesn't like push right away, do it again, and then it might push the next setting like it just did. And so now both mail gun and our um, settings for Namecheap or GoDaddy or whatever that is, is completely done. So the next part is actually setting up the SMTP. So as you can see here, we have our uh, host name, which is um, smtp. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we have the port, which is 587. And then our our username, which is uh, Cash Vault. So we have to switch over now to our um, name cheap, sorry, our go high level account and set that up. All right, so we have our go high level account. We're gonna go ahead and go to settings and then email services. And now we're gonna go ahead and go to add service and go to other. And if we remember from our settings, it was obviously Mailgun and then the SMTP server is, uh, I saved it right here in this little sketch pad. So as you can see, it's smtp.mailgun.org. So smtp.mailgun.org. And our SMTP port that was recommended was 587. So if we look back over here, it was 587. And then our username right here, is going to be the username which we see right here. So this is the username, this little thing right here. And so we're gonna grab that username right there. And we're gonna copy it. We're gonna paste it in to our cool little account here. So we're gonna go ahead and paste that as the username. And the email is gonna be the email of the uh, client. So charles at cashvault.store. And then the password is gonna be, if we look here, this is the default password, password but we're not gonna actually use that. Um, I'm gonna show you how to actually do that. So we're gonna actually click on SMTP credentials, and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so we have our uh, our account for Mailgun. We're gonna click on manage settings. And all this is, as you can see here, all the same information. So SMTP Mailgun, um, it's going to be uh, 587 right here, and then this is the login. And so all we're gonna do is go ahead and reset the password. And as you can say, see here, it's gonna say, are you gonna reset the password for uh, this username? You're gonna click on reset password. And then a little window on the very bottom right corner is going to pop up. You can probably barely see it. Let me just screen out. And we're gonna click on copy. And go ahead and click copy. It'll say copied to clipboard. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our high level account so that we can actually paste that into our account. All right, so we have our account here and we're just gonna go ahead and paste that. We're going to save and we are good to go. Now we need, it does say request failed with status 500 uh, on the bottom here, but all you have to do is uh, go ahead and click on the mail gun account and it will be good to go. So it's an updated to default settings. Um, if you can see at the bottom right corner, there's a little green dot. And from here, it's really, really easy. You can test this. So let's just uh, go ahead and go to our uh, client and go to contacts so if we click on back click on clients or contacts we can test this by adding a new person so brandon duff brandon at the money friends.com and then we're going to go ahead and save and so we're going to send myself an email so really really easy test and test and then this is going to be your name so this is going to be charles ansley and then charles at cash vault vault dot store. And so as you can see here, we have this. So we're going to go ahead and send and it's going to send out. And that's exactly how you set up Mailgun and how you set it up for high level.